here with the boys to tell you that when I started this channel, I made a promise to you that I would not use clickbait and I would not be one of those guys that only showed the great stuff without the days spent in hours and hours of relic hunting with very few results. Well, these next two hunts, today's and the next one, couldn't be a better example. The video I'm going to bring you today is uh, a scouting hunt. I was looking for, and am still looking for, a cavalry camp in uh, central Virginia. It wasn't very productive, but I guess now we know where the cavalry camp was not. But next week, I found something in this hole in Cold Harbor, in this very hole, I got to find a twice-in-a-lifetime find. I've only found something like this once before, and it was on the same farm about 40 yards from where I found this. You don't want to miss it. It was a really, really fun day. So we're going to be on an old 1795 farm today, looking for a cavalry camp and seeing what we can pick up along the way. I'm the battlefield walker. Let's go relic hunt. <laughs> And this is quite a place. Quite a place. Virginia Historical Society said that this is one of the places where Sheridan bivouacked. I'm hoping we can stumble upon where, where the boys camped. Well, there's my first uh, target of the day. And I think we can safely say that was not left here by Philip Sheridan or any member of his cavalry. All right, I've hunted a pretty long ways. Of course, obviously, this is the kind of land that you just have to gamble and zigzag through. It's not a trashy site. The thing about a piece of property like this is, the good thing is there's so much history here. This is a 1795 farm. And the other good thing is there's so much land here to hunt. The bad thing is there's so much land here to hunt. I found that little, I don't know whether that's a piece of a cufflink. I've got a signal right here in front of me. If I was on a battlefield, I would be willing to guess that's a large caliber bullet, like a Civil War bullet. Yeah, that's a really good signal. Oh, still down in there. Nice and loud. Oh, there it is. Okay piece of brass hmm definitely old got a beautiful green patina we're on a little top of a knoll which is where I would think you'd want to camp and all of a sudden we're getting signals this is a really good signal here I means she's down in there ways there it is shotgun shell <laughs> man that did not ring up like a shotgun shell might have just touched something all right there's something in there is that iron nope another piece of brass what is that Two Confederate soldiers lived on this farm, the sons of the man who built it. We also know that Sheridan's cavalry did ransack the house. What I'm not sure about, but what we're told is that the cavalry camped here. It's been a while since we found anything, but I got a good signal here, so let's check it out. I have yet to find anything military today. Uh-oh. Feel something. Is that white? Is that a bullet? Is that a bullet? Oh, it looks like a bullet. It looks like a bullet. You see it? That's got to be a Civil War bullet. 
Is that a Sharps? Yeah, I think that's a Sharps carbine. That's what it is. There's a Sharps carbine, which would have been what cavalry would be carrying. But that's exciting. Cavalry carbine, where cavalry was supposed to have camped. But I see green, and I see round. I don't know whether it's a, a little button or a coin, but let's take a look. See that right there? It's round. It's a button. All right, little flat button. All right, that's nice. That's where I dug that little flat button, and I got another signal that sounds the same right here. Piece of brass of some description. Yeah, just a little piece of sheep, thin sheep brass. Whatever this is, it sounds like it's deep, but it does sound like a good target, either lead or brass. There it is. What is that? Feels like lead. All right, this is the second little piece of melted lead I've found. So maybe we're getting close. Yeah, I think that's aluminum. Let's see. Yep, aluminum. Aluminum can. Well, the hunt for the camp has proved completely fruitless so far. Uh, but I did just find an interesting piece here. That's a rivet, brass rivet, with the leather still stuck between it. Now that could easily be a piece of harness leather off of a farmer's mule harness. But, of course, it could just as easily be military, uh, cartridge box, anything that was made of leather. I started out down there in that corner. I've hunted all over this field and haven't found much. I do see green here. There it is. And it looks round. Oh, no. Not a button and not a coin. What is that? I do not know what that is. So again, this was a little short scouting hunt. Still looking for that spot. We've got a whole lot of acreage to cover. So I'm hoping that there is a cavalry camp. And I hope we'll stumble across it. We've got evidence that says there was. Don't miss the next video. A twice in a lifetime occurrence. At least for me. I spent about four and a half to five hours on one hole this one. Until we're together relic hunting Cold Harbor again in the next video, I'm the Battlefield Walker. Be good and say your prayers.